What's up guys, Tony Rican here, and today I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with a nice little party dish. I'm gonna be making some guacamole stuffed onion rings. That's right, guacamole stuffed onion rings. You know what these are, don't you? That's right, these are awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Since we're making guacamole stuffed onion rings, the most important thing is that guacamole. I'm going to go ahead and make a nice, simple, but great tasting guacamole. For this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take four avocados. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dice about, let's say, a half cup of red onion. I'm going to go ahead and seed and dice one jalapeno, mince up a little bit of cilantro, add some lime juice, salt and pepper, and then mix this all up. Now, once that simple yet awesome guacamole is done, we're ready to really start making these onion rings. So I've got my large onion here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into, depending on the size you like, anywhere from a uh, half inch to an inch thick ring. Then I have a uh, parchment paper lined pan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill each of these rings with some guacamole. It should only take a couple of, maybe two, three spoonfuls of guacamole to fill the whole thing. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a little cube of cheese, stuff it right in the middle of there. And then once you've done this with all your onion rings, I'm going to pop this in my freezer for, let's say about 30 minutes or so, which will let them nice and, uh, get nice and solid and be ready for the frying process. After 30 minutes in the freezer, we're ready to move on. If you take a look at these, that guacamole is nice and stiff in there. It's not totally frozen, but it's not going anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my flour, I'm gonna add some paprika, some cumin, some cayenne, and mix this all together. Then I'm gonna beat three eggs. Then I have some panko breadcrumbs. They're gonna add some crushed uh, tortilla chips to. Mix that together. And now I have my oil heated up to 350 degrees. If you're doing this on stovetop, you wanna take about an inch and a half, two inches of oil in a pan, heat it up because you want these to fry, not soak in that oil. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, drag them through this flour, get them nice and coated, Drop them in that egg wash. Then coat them in my breadcrumbs and my tortilla chips. And then we'll let them fry till they're nice and golden brown. Now, all that's left is to make an awesome dipping sauce for these. What I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna take a poblano, uh, poblano pepper that I've got already gone ahead and pulled the seeds out. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this into smaller chunks. Throw that in my food processor. I'm gonna take some sour cream, some mayo, lime juice. I'm gonna go ahead and take one healthy clove of garlic here. Throw that in. Take some cilantro. And then some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this going and mix it all together. And there you go. 
my dipping sauce is done. All that's left is to take one of these awesome little onion rings, dip it in there, and give it a try. Mmm. This is amazing. You guys will love this one. So go ahead and like, share, comment on the video. If you need complete step-by-step -step instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. Give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time.